Hi, this is uh, David Overholm. I'm with DWD Technologies in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, I'm here today to show you a few things about how to use the Master Council feature in Sage 100. Um, the version that I'm using today is version 2014. Um, you can, first of all, access Master Council a couple of different ways. File, if you click on the File button, Master Council is one of your options here. Uh, also, it is um, the fourth button on the left, from the left. Um, you can get to it from Library Master. I tend to just use this icon. It's a quick way to get it launched. Um, first thing, once I launch it, that you notice is that it shows you uh, a list of everybody that's in Sage 100 right now. It shows you not only who's in, but it also shows you all the tasks that they have open. Uh, in my sample here, I'm the only one logged in, so I'm listed as user here. Um, obviously, with multiple users, you'd see a different usernames, and this is their mass 93-digit login. Uh, it tells you what company they're in. It tells you what module they're in. Um, and also lists the exact program and what they're doing. This feature comes in handy when perhaps you're doing period end processing or some sort of system maintenance where you uh, need everybody out, or perhaps you're getting some sort of message that um, something's in use and you can't update because another user is using it. Uh, this is a pretty easy way to come in and find out who might be holding you up from doing something. Um, If you're using Sage 100 Advanced, um, there is a red X button over here. Uh, note that if you're Sage 100 Standard, or what was formerly known as Mass 90, um, that red X button is not available. Um, the red X button actually allows you to kick people out of tasks from this screen, uh, again, assuming you have security rights to do that. Um, I'll preface that by saying um, don't kick people out if it's at all possible. Pick up the phone, call that person, ask them to manually get out, walk down to their office, uh, whatever means you can to get them out. If for some reason you, you really need them out, uh, maybe they've gone home for the day and forgot to log out, um, you can kill tasks. I will say also that um, inquiry tasks are reasonably safe to go ahead and um, delete, but order entry, uh, any sort of data entry task, you don't want to delete those. You could actually end up with da data corruption. If somebody's in the middle of entering a sales order and you kick them out, you could end up with a sales order that's got half the data that Sage needs to do anything with it. So. Uh, in, an, in a summary there, inquiry tasks, typically pretty safe to go ahead and kill those tasks, but order entry only on an uh, absolute last case scenario would you want to kill something like that. Um, it's pretty easy to do. I highlight customer inquiry, click on the red X, go on terminate the task associated with this. Terminating active tasks may cause data corruption. So go ahead and say yes. Click on Refresh, my customer inquiry is gone. Um, I could do the same with item inquiry. Um, you'll notice a couple other buttons down here. There is a broadcast button, which again, prior to actually kicking somebody out, you might send them a message. Once you send that message, it goes out to everybody that's logged into Sage 100. Message pops up on their, in front of their Mass 90 screen, lets them know. Um, there's a shut down all button. Um, another button that you don't really want to use, except in very extreme cases. Uh, shut down all will shut down all the tasks, including yours, from this master council screen. Uh, it will also, if you're on Sage 100 Advanced, formerly known as Mass 200, um, that shutdown all will also shut down the application service that's running 
um, so nobody else would be able to log into Sage 100 once you did that shutdown all. Um, short answer is don't use that unless you absolutely know what you're doing there. Of course, the refresh button simply allows me to refresh the screen if it hasn't yet refreshed. I'm going to go ahead and kill my inquiry task, hit refresh, boom, that one's gone also. Um, so I hope that was helpful, just a short description of using Master Council in Sage 100 Standard and Advanced. <laughs>